fellow baseball fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I got Computer Stratomatic Baseball for you. This is an interesting matchup. I think you'll find it very interesting. Uh, this is the 1994 Chicago Cubs will be visiting the 1994 Florida Marlins. This was the Florida Marlins with that awesome teal uniform. I loved that teal uniform. They should have kept it. They should have kept everything about that. It was the greatest uniform. But anyway, I digress. Um, <clears throat> today's pitching matchup. For the Cubs, you're going to have Steve Traxel on the mound, and he'll be going up against Chris Hammond. I will be taking the Marlins, and here is the lineup for the uh, visiting Chicago Cubs. They're going to lead off with Sean Dunstan at shortstop, then uh, Zambrano in right field, Mark Grace, great hitter at first base, Glenn Allen Hill in left, Sammy Sosa in center field, Mark Parent at catcher, Steve Bichel at third, Sanchez at second, and then Traxel picking up the rear at pitcher. And for uh, our Florida Marlins, I'm going to say that for this game, you got Chucky Carr in center, Jerry the Governor Brown at third, Gary Sheffield in right, Jeff Conine, another great professional hitter in left. Dave Magadan at first. Anito Santiago at catcher. Kurt Abbott at short. And Brett Barbary at second base. So without further delay, let's get on with the game. And this is going to be in Joe Robbie Stadium. Look at that beautiful place. And there you got Chris Hammond, and he is ready to deal to Dunstan. Let me move myself over just a little bit here. And the pitch is on the way, and Dunstan looks like he got all of it, and that it could be one nothing Cubs right now. But it isn't. It was caught. <laughs> so uh, Eddie Zambrano is uh, the uh, third baseman, I believe, for the Cubs, and he's up. And Hammond, having just dodged a bullet, allows a ground ball to the governor, Jerry Brown, and that is two down. And here he is, Mark Grace, 300 career hitter. I don't know if he was a career 300 hitter. I don't know, but he should have been. <laughs> but anyway, he strikes out, and now we go out to, or the, the Cubs go out to the field, and there is Steve Traxel, and he's dealing to the speedy, the speedy Chucky guy. And that is going to be a ball for, and we're going to try to steal. We are going to try to steal second base. Which one of these is to steal a base? Attempt it. And what happens? I'm still going to attempt it. And he makes it. Nice. <laughs> All right. So here's the Governor Jerry Brown against Traxel. And he hits it through the holes. He's going to, meow, I'm definitely sending it. And I am going to send the trailing runner, too. And what happened there? We got the run, but I guess the governor got thrown out. So Gary Sheffield's up with one down, nobody on base. Oh, well, Sheffield's going to be out of the game. I need a pinch runner. And, uh... What was Sheffield, right field? Um, yeah, I suppose we can put Carl Everett in there. So Carl Everett will be my pinch runner, and when we go to the field, I am going to put him in place of Sheffield. That's a big bat to lose. You don't want to have that happen. Line drive, caught, double play. All right, so we got the one run, um, and we are, as I said, going to send... Everett out to right. And uh, Hammond back on the mound. Now he's dealing to Glenn Allen Hall. Glenn Allen Hall, he had some really good Stratomatic cards in his day. 
um, usually in part-time play, and that's how it usually works out. Uh, Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa, you remember that one year? I forget what year it was, 2000-something, where him and McGuire were in the home run race um, and trying to catch uh, McGuire, or trying to catch uh, Maris at the same time. Um, <clears throat> and or Bonds. I don't know. But here is Mark Parent. Mark Parent in that awesome, the pitcher is in that awesome uh, Padres uniform that they had after the first awesome Padres uniform that they had. And here is Dave Magadan in the not so awesome Padres uniform. And there are zero, how is there zero out? When they didn't score a run and uh, all right, that's one That's one down. Santiago is up. I don't know what happened to the first guy um, that we were looking at, Parent, but because uh, it doesn't look like he's on base. They didn't score a run. Man. All right, Kurt Abbott is up. Now, if that was a mistake, the computer game made the mistake. I didn't. Kurt Abbott is going to pop out. And that is two away and Brett Barbary. Look at those uniforms. Loved those uniforms. I used to have a Marlins hat, that like teal blue Marlins hat. I wish I still had. I don't know what I did with it. I don't remember throwing it out. But in this house, who knows? Could be anywhere. Steve Michelle is up. Wait, how is he, how are the Cubs, Ray Sanchez, how are the Cubs up? What is going on here? This is like an, almost a completely different, like I don't remember saying, saying I mean, maybe I did. I, I don't know where we are. Maybe, um, I don't know, maybe I didn't get enough coffee this morning. Um, Steve Traxel is up with two down here and apparently what is the top of the third. Maybe we just went so quickly, I didn't realize we, we went down already. All right, so Traxel's out on the mound, bottom of the third, Hammond up. Now I think I know where we are. I don't know how we got sidetracked or how I personally got sidetracked, but it's one nothing, Marlins, and he grounds out to Grace. Chucky Carr, who got on last time, stole second and was knocked in. And he hits it up in the air to right field, but Zambrano should probably play that. And he does, and that brings up Jerry Brown, who's one for one, but was thrown out trying to uh, get an extra base when Carr scored. And it looks like he might have a base hit again. No, he's out. All right, so Sean Dunstan is up and uh, facing our man Hammond, who so far is pitching a no-hitter. That's right, I jinxed him, and apparently I did, because that looks like a double, a, a double or a home run. Yeah, that's a double, so yeah, I did jinx him, sorry. Zimbrano is up with a man at second and no outs, and he walks. Now the Cubs have two on with Mark Grace up, lefty on lefty, and he um, there there that's a pass ball. Trouble, we got trouble here in River City. Conine, that's a fly out to Conine looks like, and the runners do not score or move up, um, and so Glen Allen Hill is up with one down. You know me, I don't like to bring the infield in. I just think it makes the Odds of giving up a bigger inning, worse. Everett with the fly ball caught, and the run does score, and it's a tie game with Sammy Sosa. And he is out. So we go back to uh, the plate with Carl Everett in his first at bat since replacing the injured Sheffield. And let's see what he can do. Of course, he was on the 2005 White Sox, my 2005 world champion White Sox. Conine is at the plate facing the track master, Traxel. And is that a base hit? 
Yes, it is. Of course, it's Conine, so he's not very fast. Magan is 0 for 1, of course. Um, that's going to be ball four. So two runners are on with Santiago up. Benito. Benito Santiago, two aboard, one down. And and he walks to load the bases for Kurt Abbott. Could I have a worse situation? The base is loaded with Kurt Abbott at the plate. And he's going to fly, looks like deep enough to get that run home. Maybe a home run, but I doubt it. It is caught, though. Um, runner on second has a chance to tag. I am going to hold. I'm going to hold it second. But we do take the 2-1 to one lead, and Brett Barbary is up. And Traxel's into his wind with a 3-1 count, and it is going to be a home. Is that a home run? Did Brett Barbary go deep on him? No, he didn't. All right, so here's Mark Parent. He's 0 for 1. Of course, you know, I remember he came up last time. I didn't know where we were, but. Maybe he was the last out. It looks like maybe he was the last out, and then our team came up, and I didn't realize that. So Steve Bichelle is up with one out here in the top of the fifth. Chicago's down 2-1. Um, Hammond is pitching a great game for us. But Bichelle might just have left the park, and it looks like he might have. Yep, and they tied the game, and now Ray Sanchez is up with one down in a tie game in the fifth inning and he gets a board for Traxel and now they got a decision but they do let Traxel hit that's going to be a ground out to Barbary hopefully no it's an error he makes an error so Dunstan Dunstan is up with two aboard and only one out and Hammond can't be happy about this he should have been out of this inning there's an out though and Zambrano is up at the plate let's hope he gets out Grounder to Abbott, but he's a four, but he still throws him out and gets him. So now we got Hammond up at the plate, bottom of the fifth. Do I want to make the change here? No, I don't because it's a tie game, and this we may need to go through the bullpen if I do that. So he hits a slow roller between second and first, but he's out. Chucky Carr, 0 for 1 with a run this game. Has one of the Florida runs. And he's going to pop out, it looks like, to Grace. And the governor, Jerry Brown, is up at the plate. And he hits it in the air to center field. Looks like Sosa has a bead on it, though, and makes the play. No runs come in for us in the fifth. We go to the top of the sixth with Hammond facing Mark Grace. Again, lefty on lefty, favors Hammond. That is a ground ball to Abbott, who throws uh, Grace out. There's one down. Glenn Allen Hill is up. Power hitter from the right side. And that is going to be a fly ball. Hopefully, Carr gets under it and makes the play. And no, he doesn't. He couldn't get to it. So Hill is aboard with Sammy Soso. Up. Salami Sosa. And he grounds out to Abbott, hopefully. And is that a double play? It is. Nice. We got a double play from a four shortstop. Carl Everett at the plate, bottom of the sixth. We're in a 2-2 game. Each team has three hits as well. But we have an error, and the Cubs don't. But Everett got that up and out, maybe? Is it? It's gone. Everett gives us the lead. Gotta love that. And now Jeff Conine up. Nobody on. No outs, though. And that is a walk, and Magadan is up. He's 0 for 1, but he has walked this game. And he is going to ground it to second base. A dribbler, and they do get the out, it looks like, at first. And it's a fielder's choice with Conine at second and Santiago at the plate. And that was a pass ball, so now Santiago has a chance to knock that run in. 
And that is a grounder to Dunstan, but Dunstan throws him out. No, he didn't. What happened there? I don't know. I don't know what happened. Unless he, unless he was out and that was a second out. Man, I needed some more coffee this morning. But it looks like Abbott's out. Yes, he is. Abbott is out. So we go to the top of the seventh. We have a three to two lead. I'm going to try to get Hammond through the uh, seventh inning. And then we can bring in, I think, Rob Nen was their closer. And he gets parent. He just nips him. He had to be bobbled the ball, but he just got him. And then Bichelle is up. He has a home run today, so you got to watch out for him. But he does go down on strikes, and Ray Sanchez is up. Now, the Cubs in uh, uh, 1994, and remember, this was the strike shortened season. Uh, the Cubs were 49 and 64, and the Marlins were 51 and 64. And Traxel is up with Sanchez, but no, they pinch hit for him. Jose Ramirez is pinch hitting for Traxel, so Traxel's day is over. We might have expected that. He grounds it to Abbott, and Abbott makes the play. Nice four shortstop out there making all the plays. And we have uh, Brett Barbary up, and I believe Hammond spot might just come up this inning, which is just in time. The new pitcher is Dave Otto. You may remember Dave Otto on Cleveland. Also, I think he died in like a boating accident, some sort of boating accident. There was a fly out for Barbary, and here he is, the man of the hour. Too sweet to be sour. It's Chris Hammond, but we are going to um, make, a, make a change, and we are going to pinch hit for... Hammond with, uh, let's go, Destrada. There he is, Arrestus Destrada is going to pinch hit for Hammond with one down and nobody on. And he hits a, a dribbler between first and second, but they got him. And now Chucky Carr is up. And Chuck Carr looks like he is going to pop out to Dunstan, and we go down in the seventh inning. But I, who am I going to bring in here? For Destrada, we are going to bring in, in place of Destrada, we're going to bring in Rob Nen. You know we're bringing Rob Nen. I'm even going to try to get two innings out of him. I know that that's unconventional thinking, but here he is facing Dunstan. Of course, if they tie the game, because we're only ahead three to two, if they tie the game, then Nen won't be able to finish this one out. Zambrano is up, one down, and Zambrano is out on strikes, and that brings up Grace. And Grace grounds it to Barbary. And he does make the play, and the Cubs go quickly in the eighth. We're in the bottom of the eighth. Dave Otto still out there facing the governor, Jerry Brown, to lead it off for us in the bottom of the eighth inning. And that might be a single to center. It might fall in front of Sosa, but it doesn't. He's out. And here is Carl Everett, who's one for two with a home run. And remember, Everett did not start the game. He came on for Sheffield, who got injured in the first inning. And uh, Conine is now up at the plate with two down. Here in the eighth, we're on the precipice of a win. And we got Nen on the mound. You can't ask for much better than that. Glenn Allen Hill. He's only thrown nine of 26 pitches that he would generally pitch before he would start to get tired. But this is a ground ball in the hole, and it's going to be, you know, that was going to be a hit. Sosa's up. With Glenn Allen Hill above. Whoa! Throw for the runner. And he's out. They took a chance. They gambled and they lost. They gambled and they lost at the Baccarat table. 
So now you got Sosa grounding the ball to Barbary, and he is up with the throw, and there's two down, and Mark Parent's up. Are they going to pinch hit for Parent? No, they're not. And Parent, that dude had power, and he goes deep. Unbelievable. Oh, Mark Parent. Unreal. Mark Parent hits a home run to tie the game. And that brings up Bichelle. And Bichelle gets a base hit. So he's aboard with Ray Sanchez up. Nen let us down. He just let us down. That's all I can say about that. And that is a strike three called. Nen gets out of the inning, but not before he gives up the, go the uh, tying run. We got Magadan up against him. Otto is still not tired. He's only thrown 20 of 51 pitches before he starts to get gassed. And Magadan is out. Santiago is up one for two on the day with a walk. And he got a walk. Nice. He's aboard. Kurt Abbott at the plate. Santiago aboard, only one out. And he gets a base hit. And I am not going to send the runners. Barbary, we're going to have to let him hit. I mean, as much as I would love to say, let's do a bunt or something. And maybe he got a base hit. Can he work this for a base hit? No, it's a double play. Well, you know they're going to pinch hit for Otto. But anyway, I am going to go to the bullpen because Nan is probably. He is past his uh, available uh, pitches. So who are we going to? Um, the last out was made by Barbary. He was a second baseman. Um, so I want to say let's put a, a second baseman in. Well, we don't have one. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We have Mario Diaz. We're going to put him in, and we're going to put him at second base. And then we're going to uh, bring in, um, I think Terry. Ma I think that's Terry Matthews. We're going to bring him in to pitch. Yes, it is Terry Matthews on to pitch to not Otto. No, they aren't. Okay, they pinch hit for him with Roberson. Kevin, Ro is it Kevin? Yeah, Kevin Roberson will pinch hit for Otto. So they're going to be making a pitching change. But Roberson looks like he might have gone shopping at the Gap or at a, shopping at a home run house. No, it's shopping at the Gap. You get the double. Dunstan is up. Let's see if they sacrifice him over. They don't. And it's a pop out. And so now. Terry Matthews might be well in control here. One out, man at second, Zambrano up. He's 0 for 3 with a walk today. And he grounds it to Abbott. And that is an out. And there's two down. Grace is up. But let's see who's up after Grace. Glenn Allen Hill. I am, you know what? I am going to give Grace the old walk. So we walk him, we're going to face Glen Allen Hill. Now, Glen Allen Hill is actually doing well today. And he does walk and he gets aboard. So Sosa's up with the bases juiced. And he strikes out. So now we have a chance to win it again. And my man Mario Diaz is up. Because I, I did that double switch last inning. And he is going to ground it into the hole, maybe, and make get a base hit? Yes. And Chucky Carr is up. I should have bunted. I didn't. But, you know, I should have. Chuck Carr up. And let's see if they're making a pitching change. No, Bautista is the pitcher. And he, he works a ground out. And it's a double play. 
and now the, the governor, Jerry Brown, is up with two down and nobody on base. And he hits it between uh, first and second. And he goes to second on an error, and now Everett is up with a chance to knock the run in and win the game. And he does deal. And Everett looks like he just won the game for the Marlins. No, he didn't. They caught it at the wall. Are you believing this? And now here's the dangerous Mark Parent, the apparently dangerous Mark Parent, who is one for four with a home run today. And he strikes out. Steve Bichelle is up. We are in, what is this, the 11th inning? I think this is the 11th, top of the 11th. Michelle hits a fly ball to Everett. Nobody wants to win this game. And this brings up Ray Sanchez, who I'm not really that frightened of. And he hits the ball to Conine, and Conine should be there to play it, and he is. And again, we have a chance to win this game in the bottom of the 11th with Conine up. The aforementioned Conine, who just made the last out of the last inning, last half inning. And he's going to ground the ball and be out. Magadan is up. He's 0 for 3 with a walk today. And he hits the ball between first and second into right field for a base hit with Santiago up. He's 1 for 2 with a walk. See how they decide to pitch him. And it looks like he's going to ground out and into a double play. I am going to let uh, Terry Matthews pitch at least this inning, and they bring in Derek May to pinch hit against it. And that's gonna be a pop out to Magadan. Again, both of these teams pretty evenly matched. One was 49 and 64, the other one was 51 and 64. And that looks like it's going to be a pop out to uh, Abbott. And there's two down and Zambrano at the plate. And he is going to ground out to the governor. And that is it. Kurt Abbott is up and the new pitcher is Jim Bullinger. And he strikes out. So here's Terry Matthews. We will pinch hit for him. Uh, I'm going to pinch hit for him with uh, Greg Colburn. Colburn! Uh, looks like he's going to fly out center to Sosa. And that's two down. Mario Diaz up. One for one on the day. Came on as a pinch hitter and I kept him in. And that is going to be a base hit and he's two for two today with Chucky Carr up. We have a man at first, two down, in a tie game, 3-3 three, three in what is apparently the 12th inning and that's a line out and it is. And now I have to go get yet another pitcher. And I'm going to guess that it's not going to be Weathers. No, can't be Weathers. Can't be Huff. Uh, can be Lewis, but Lewis is horrible. But let's see. I mean, you know, I don't have a lot of choices here. So we're going to bring in Richie Lewis to pitch to Mark Grace. And that's a base hit to lead it off for the Cubs with Glenn Allen Hill up. And he walks him. So, yeah, I mean, I knew he was bad, but, I mean, what can I do? I don't have a lot of choices out there for good relief. Um, since then blew it by allowing a home run in the ninth. And Sosa just went deep, did he? The triple. A triple, and he knocks in both runs, and now, well, I, that's not gonna. That's not good. And 
we got runners at the corners with nobody out yet. That is at least the first out. And uh, I mean, we're going to just stop the runner from scoring. But I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't think they scored three runs already. So Ray Sanchez is up with a man at first and one down. And now there's two away. And Bullinger's up. They're going to let Bullinger hit because they got their three runs. And they know we're not going to get three. So the Governor Jerry Brown at the plate against Bullinger. Bottom of the 13th. He does walk, though, and Carl Everett is up. We need base runners, so I'm not going to try to do anything fancy. Everett strikes out. One down, Conine up. And that, that might be a double play. Nope, it's a fielder's choice. Runner at second, two down, Magadan up. We need three runs. He does get a base hit, though. I'm going to hold the runners because I'm not, I, yeah, I can't get thrown out. Santiago is up. I'm going to let Santiago hit. And that is going to be it. And we lost. We lost an extra innings, 6-3. to three. And uh, there's the uh, box score for the hitters. Let you take a look at that. And here are the uh, pitching statistics. Uh, Matthews did a great job, and then he allowed that key home run to uh, Aaron. That just sunk us. Home run in the ninth. We could have walked off with a we could have walked away with a win, but no. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke signing off.